for no Polly Pocket, Barbie, uh, Lego, little kid stuff. I'm not here to make you feel good. I'm not here to hold your little baby hand. I'm not, I'm not here to be cute. I'm not here to be funny. I'm not here to appeal to a crowd. I'm not here to make pretty drawings, okay? I'm here to make that cash. I'm here to support a family. I'm not just on uh, YouTube, just uh, doing a little baby thing. I'm not, I'm not just here, just oh, draw a little picture, draw a little baby picture. This right here, people. This is the adult game. This is the game we're playing right now. This is the adult game. This is the game for adults, not for little babies. We're here to get work done. I'm not here to paint no little baby Avenger, Avenger, Marvel, little Polly Pocket. No, we're here to get work done, and that's what we're gonna do. Let's go! I don't know this man, never seen him before in my life, but he looks interesting enough. Got a really nice face, honestly. All right, so the most important part. It's what we're looking at here, uh, baby. Look at this. Everybody's gonna be like, whoa, let's just draw all of this stuff in here. Well, look at all the details and that. Wrong, wrong. All right, little babies. What we're gonna do, look, okay. All right, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you a little bit of something here. That we're, we're at a, a thousand pixels wide. Look at that. This is some low quality stuff. If you want, typically you go higher quality, it's like 3,000 to 5,000 wide or something. So we're focusing on the basics. All right, so the most important part is the mask. All right, and I'm gonna draw right over this sucker. Okay, so here's the difference between what I'm doing and tracing. Tracing is doing this. You're following this and you're not really thinking about it. All right, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be doing a draw through. So right now we're finding the mask. We're just following this overall structure. And if you get a good mask on a character, then 90% of your work is done. All right, you don't need to sit there and trace all this. You don't need to get all the details down. All right, there's all kind of measurements and stuff that I'm not doing right now. You can find all of this cool measurement stuff on Skillshare. You click the link below, you're gonna get two free months of Skillshare, and they got all kinds of junk that you can look up there for the technical stuff. All right, so this is the mask. This is essentially all that you really need. All right, we're just gonna do a little bit of circle here, because this is the socket that the eye is gonna sit in. Let's see if I got that right, let's see. Nope, not right at all. All right, let's see what I did wrong there. It was over there, and actually needs to lay right there. Hmm, okay, you see what I did there? I did something wrong. I tried it out and I assessed the problem. And now I know, uh, you know, where I went wrong. At this point, I'm just straight up drawing over the picture. All right, I'm trying to learn from this process. All right, said it once, I'll say it a billion times, because you little babies, you just don't understand. God, you little babies. You don't understand the importance of the mask. He's got a strong jaw here. I'm gonna kind of emphasize that. I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna do a very confident line, just straight down. And then another confident line, straight to his chin. All right, you, this, this is important. Confidence in your lines, it shows. And then I can just erase out whatever I don't need. All right, let's see where this connects. Boom, boom. You know, I started as a background artist, and then eventually they moved me to, uh, they gave me this title, VizDev at DreamWorks. And I was like, oh, VizDev, that's nice. Yeah, essentially what it meant was that they could just give me other things to do other than backgrounds and still pay me the same amount of money. And that's all right, you know, I learned a lot from it. I didn't really want to do, uh, they had me doing props. And I didn't really want to do props, of course, because it's freaking boring. But I learned so much from it uh, about line quality. Because in props, you know, you have to do a very clean line. You're packaging it up to, uh, packaging up this information to send overseas to do the final animation. It's gotta be very specific line quality, much, much better than this quality. You know, something very clean. And I was just, you know, doing this the whole time and trying to get, I just couldn't do it right. So eventually I just started doing this freaking thing right here. And then just erasing out all the crap that I didn't need. Cause that line, that confidence, baby. I <clears throat> That confidence, that's where it's at. All right, let's see what's going on with these lips. He's got some luscious lips, all right. Just like the eyes, the lips sit in a socket. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lie. 
Don't listen to me on that. I'm just gonna just create this overall bump. All right, I'm not getting in here. I'm not doing these. I'm not doing this. I'm not. All right, I'm making an overall shape. Boom. Bing. You know, what? I'm not even gonna zoom in. I'm keeping it low quality because I'm focusing on the bigger picture. Every part of the the human body is a fold, uh, in some way or form or fashion. It's folding into the next piece. He's got. He's a, he's really got a nice face. It's it's not it's not about the deets. It's not about those details. Okay, baby. It's about keeping things simple. Old people got lots of wrinkles. Got lots of lines. Not saying that old people aren't beautiful. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But uh, and young folk. Uh, you know, smooth skin, no lines. All right, not working. This isn't working for me, so I'm just gonna erase this whole thing because I don't even freaking care. I'm gonna bring this line down. Boom. Not not worth the effort. And then this this is gonna be moving this way, so I'm just gonna freaking I'm just I'm just gonna straight up draw right through. Look at that. Look at all these crazy lines. Doesn't matter. You know what? I'm I'm gonna keep some of them. There. Boom, it's gonna follow the, uh, follow, follow the direction of his face. It's gonna go up his nose, all right? That's just how these things work. I don't know what it's called. You don't need to know what all these what all these little fancy things are called. All right, you just gotta know how they look. Okay, so don't tell me that it's the vertex of the flimmel flammel or whatever. I don't freaking care. I don't care what it's called. I know what it does. Same thing with math and words sometimes. I'm too focused, I'm too, fo I'm too, I'm too intimate with this right now. I need to make it a big picture. All right, so you'll see this a lot in my work. Look, you're just taking two shapes, and you're putting them together, and you're erasing one of those lines. So it's gonna make a fold. It feels like it's turning in space. Okay, this one needs a taper. So I like this shape better, because it tapers inwards towards the fold, but that's not how what his hair does. It kinda tapers downward. I'm gonna do another fold right here. Because I don't even freaking care. All right, so here's the thing about photographs and about realism is that, yeah, you can trace over something, but once you get it, the pixels, the, the, the every single individual color in a photograph is going to be what determines, will determine which way it's, it's, uh, it's folded, which way it's going. But in a drawing, in a very simple drawing, you're not gonna have all those little pixels to kind of determine that direction. So even though you might, uh, even though you may trace over something in a photograph, it's not gonna look right sometimes. So it's kind of my job to clarify that a little bit. So it doesn't really matter how accurate something is. Uh, with tracing over photographs and this and that, it doesn't matter what the truth is. It doesn't matter the way that it actually looked in the photograph is being replicated. Just the same way that truth doesn't really matter in life sometimes. That people don't want to hear the truth sometimes because it just doesn't look good. So you gotta give them, you gotta give people an edited version of the truth that they can understand. And some say that's what the Bible is, and that's what I'm doing right here. I'm essentially creating the Bible. Manipulate your drawings for clarity. That's all I'm saying. Doesn't matter what the truth is. All right, if you drew how it actually looked, then things might be very confusing and people just wouldn't be very clear. Uh, it just wouldn't be very clear to people. All right, people are stupid. People are real stupid. It's your job to make them not that as much. There you have it folks, I hope you enjoyed it. This is actually my last video that I'm ever gonna do. If you like this video, if you liked everything I do here, do on this channel, that I'm working to please try and